Good morning from Schoolie Palooza. I'm still out here. Um, there are more buses and a wandering step van that showed up last night. That's Sevens. We have some new visitors over here. Um, right now, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna do some videos for my buddy's channel. We're gonna trade. I'm gonna make him interview videos. He's gonna help me out with a website, Bus Life Adventure. Um, so right now, you guys have already met Tamara, she was in uh, three off-grid nomads um, video. So I'm gonna head over there, chalk with her, and then my buddy Dean, who you guys have met before if you've been with me for a while, I'm gonna make a video with him, maybe the new guys that popped up over here, maybe Giuseppe uh, on Dylan McGaster's channel. He has a wandering tea garden, and then I met a really cool guy, Jeremy. He's got Norm the Pug. That's in a little van over there, or um, a, a big bus, I should say. Big golden bus. Uh, he's a photographer, uh, Instagrammer, I guess you would say, but also just kind of makes a living from social media, which is awesome. Really cool story, really cool, cool guy, and a really cool bus. So I'm gonna go do some work, <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys when I'm done working. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I have with me a peanut butter banana sandwich. Oh, and honey. Um, we got Dean, and we got uh, Nick. Nick's back. What's up? He came out for the RTR, and he's stopping by Schooly Paloozas to, you know, hang out with the school buses. There's Seven. Yo, Seven! Wave to your, wave to your fans. <laughs> seven cruise by. We did a really cool, uh, well, video for his channel. You guys should go check it out. It was um, advice to people wanting to do the bus life. I, I, I don't know. I like my answer. Did you like my answer? That was a great answer. <laughs> Good answer. Um, I just want to encourage people to do it. I wish I did this before, and I think that's probably a, a thing that's common with a lot of people. Do you wish you did this before? Yes, absolutely. Okay, you're not saying that because I just said that, are you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, there are some people who actually um, uh, w wish they did this before. Um, <clears throat> actually, a lot of people. So we got some more buses. We got the uh, YM converted YMCA bus. They actually spotted me. They said, "Hey, Jax." So let's go meet them. Hello. Coming to check us out? Yeah, coming to check you out. Come on in. I heard a crazy thing. Tell me. You guys fed 200 homeless people? <laughs> Five hundred six. 506? Right. We did 200 in, home, uh, in, in Vegas. Yeah. Dang! Yeah. How'd you pull that off? This, this little stove down here, man. We just go to town on it. Yep. That little stove fed 506 people? Yeah, we're still going. We're only Jeez. halfway. We're trying to do 1,000. Did you, did you vlog it all? Yeah. We did, yeah. yeah we we did right. videos about it. What, what's the channel? The Nomadic, Nomadic Movement. Movement. All right, cool. Check it out <laughs> on there. Dude, I'm going to go check it out myself tonight. I'm going to go get some tea uh, over at Giuseppe. You guys want to join me? Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Wait, what, what do you say, Nick? I said I didn't bring a cup. You always bring <laughs> a cup to a tea party. So, what? Is that a, is that a saying? No. Oh. Well, in the, in the nomadic life, it's always a BYOC. Unless you're at Giuseppe's, because apparently he has extra. By the way, this is uh, Giuseppe. Howdy, welcome. He, um, he had a very cool video with Dylan McGaster, where they go into detail about his bus, why he's doing it. I got plenty of cups, though. So don't worry about the BYOC. <laughs> so, so if you see him, he doesn't do the BYOC. It is just a free tea set up here. And I heard you've been in a bus slash vehicle for 10 years. Is that right? Uh, 12, 12, 12 and a half years, but in this bus for 10 years. Yeah. So you're like the OG bus lifer. I mean, you know, there's a whole generation of people before me, or multiple generations, so yeah. I can't, you know, all the way back to the prairie schooners, the, the covered wagons that cross the There we go. So yeah. Just, just, you know, in the progression of things. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Um, any estimate of how much money you've saved in rent over the past 10 or 12 years? Uh, so I haven't paid rent, yeah, in a long time, and I would say I've, I'm, I don't know, $100,000, $80,000. Yeah. I mean, think about how much you pay rent for for uh, for 12 years and multiply it out. Uh, whatever, whoever's watching, whatever you pay, times 12 times 12. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to say that because you have to work less for the things yeah. that you have to pay for, it actually gives you a chance to do more things that you yeah. like to do. Yeah. 
like have tea parties. Yeah, totally. Yeah, a lot of people in this country live in what I call time poverty, where they don't have enough time to do things, so they have to buy a lot of convenience items and things to help them feel good and happy, and then they end up having to work harder to then pay for those things, and it's kind of this vicious cycle of uh, yeah, being in time poverty. Yeah. Here we go, Giuseppe, homeowner, just like all of us uh, <laughs> over here at Schooly Palooza. Thanks, dude. See ya. All right, so we just had a great time over here at the tea house. We kind of uh, closed down the shop with uh, Giuseppe. Over here, by the way, is a give and take area where you can drop off gifts, large gifts, small gifts, or cards, which are kind of like services and things like that. And uh, I was gifted a, a cookbook. I was um, sharing with Giuseppe, he's kind of laughing right now. I was sharing with Giuseppe that I want to start eating roadkill because I think it's a kind of a waste of, of meat. Uh, the animal wasn't killed in a factory farm, etc. And he shared with me that um, our salad tonight is coming from where? The dumpster, dumpster dive, salad greens, tomatoes, all kinds of good stuff. And you call it rescuing, uh, what was yeah, it? Yeah, food rescue, food reclamation, yeah. uh, or civil harvesting. That's okay. my favorite term. Yeah. So, so we're going to go cook up some uh, spaghetti. Giuseppe's going to make his salad. And we're going to have a little dinner with Nick and Claire. All right, tonight's spaghetti night. Also, amazing, amazing sunset. These desert sunsets. I don't know. If I said it once, I said it a million times. It's actually true. These Arizona sunsets and New Mexico sunsets are some of the best sunsets known to man and probably just deserts in general. Everybody's got their uh, cameras out doing photos. Looks like we have a little wagon circle, half wagon circle forming over here. Um, and tonight is spaghetti night. Like I said, we got some whole wheat pasta. Little salt, oh, um, <laughs> Maldone sea salt, a little olive oil in there just so they don't uh, stick together. Then we have super ultra lean turkey, and uh, yeah, just gonna have a nice little meal. Some good old protein, carbs, you know, all that fun stuff for dinner. All right, so Giuseppe is gonna do the honors. I forgot earlier to pick winners for the postcards, but Giuseppe's gonna go through the comments and pick his favorite ones. Okay, all right, let's do it. I'm kind of pawning this off on other people for the past two, just so nobody gets upset I didn't pick them. I think I'm gonna, this is gonna be a regular thing. The odds are in your favor, so if you don't win today, uh, you will win at some point. I think I'm gonna pick one at least for the nastiest comment I hear, so. <laughs> Okay, and by the way, that is no encouragement for nasty comments. I appreciate <laughs> everybody's nice uh, comments. You know how much energy and love I put into these videos, so. Um, but he, we even have love for haters. We sure do, we sure do. This is from Sandra Beachy. Hey Jax, my van is a 7.3 diesel. Only problem, can a 66 year old grandma change the oil and the fuel filters? I'm ready for adventure. Would love a postcard, happy trails. I just love that a 66 year old grandma is uh, even considering something like this, so uh, she definitely deserves a postcard. Winner! I like this one. I would love a postcard. This is from Lisa Huff. I have only been able to venture out of Colorado once, so in lieu of adventure, I ask my friends to send me postcards whenever I travel. I have a world map and a US map on the wall, and I have them bordered with corresponding postcards. I also live vicariously through your videos. All right. You, you stole me from exploring with Josh. Hey, Jax, you need to go skate more. I'm 41, and it keeps me on the level daily. Number four, Ian gets worst comment. His comment <laughs> is comment. <laughs> All right. He's getting a postcard All right. his terrible comment. <laughs> From Endless Aussie Adventures. I know my son Tallinn would be super excited to receive a postcard from you, Jax, as he always asks if you have uploaded a video. You are a wonderful inspiration. From D. Hanley. Hoping for a postcard. I enjoy watching your videos. They have helped my long hospital stay be bearable. Mm. That person deserves a postcard. And and a hug. Yes. We're sending you this hugs. Is a, this is a hug via mail.
ultra low battery. There's a lot of filming today. Um, I know your time is valuable, and I appreciate you spending with me and Claire Bear.